Hi and welcome to Real Reviews, where today I'm going to be talking about the Artful Dodger and taking a deep dive into the Dickensian sequel, which stars Thomas Brodie Sangster, David Thewlis and Tim Minchin, amongst others. So, let's get down to 1850s Australia and see what all the fuss is about. So in the opening five minutes of this epic limited series from Disney Plus, we meet Jack Dawkins as he is losing to Darius Cracksworth, the inimitable Tim Minchin, um, hidden beneath, shall we say, quite the questionable accent, but it still works, and he plays the nasty, the heavy. He is cheating at cards, and then the first obstacle of the series hits Dawkins square between the eyes when he is in the hole for 26 quid. That's 26 quid, 18. 50 style, so we're talking a lot of money. Then we get segues into the surgery where we get some nice close work. He's cutting off legs. There's Wolf Mother playing over the top of this. It, it ultimately, this feels like it feels like a sort of a Guy Ritchie sort of um, thing kicking off. Uh, but what you then get is you get deviations into period drama with the introduction of the governor's daughter, um, played by uh, Mia Mitchell. Uh, she plays Belle Fox, Lady Belle Fox, which is a great name. But you've also got Lady Fanny Fox, which is a better name. Um, and that's play, <laughs> played by somebody else. Sorry, I can't actually remember the name and I'm laughing too much. Suffice to say that the the characters are well drawn the uh, situations are are swift uh, and there's an elements of drama which mix into it and this is even before we've met fagan this is even before we've met david thewlis so let's dive into that and let's find out exactly what it is about the artful dodger aside from the dickens um uh, link uh, which makes it so good so the thing that makes this work, aside from the dynamic between Thewlis and Sangster as Fagin and Dawkins, is the fact that this just doesn't trade on comedy asides, slick dialogue and savvy performances, although there are plenty in there. This has it plays a cunning sleight of hand in the way that it, it puts its story together. If anything, it shares DNA with Pirates of the Caribbean, Curse of the Black Pearl. So you could swap out Mia Mitchell for um, Kira Knightley. You can swap out Sangster for Orlando Bloom. You could even swap out Fagin for the inimitable Jack Sparrow. This is exactly how it feels. There's a lot of Gore Verbinski knocking around in this setup and it's quite slap dash. It's quite free and easy. It's quite free flowing and it's lots of fun. Let's not forget that never before has 1850s Australia colonial style been this much fun. So you've got charismatic performances, but then what happens is as it progresses, this actually starts to dig into the drama and you get connected to these characters and the dynamic between Fagin and Dawkins is superseded by the relationship that develops between Dawkins and Lady Bell Fox. So this really actually becomes quite an interesting limited series and you can understand why they have, in their wisdom, the filmmakers have decided, um, McNamara, I believe it's James McNamara and uh, David Mayer, you'll forgive me for having a brief look there. Um, this is why they've gone with it. And I think this ultimately is why the, the series becomes much more poignant. It becomes much more emotive and there are, there's less of a need to lean into the comedic asides. So I'm gonna jump into that rating. Let's do that next. So for all of the reasons I've just outlined, this is gonna get a four out of five on the big old five scale. That's the Artful Dodger on Disney Plus. It is streaming now. You really wanna check it out. From that point on, what else is there to say? Let's jump into the trailer, people. So you've reached the end of the video review for The Artful Dodger, which is currently out on Disney Plus and doing the round starring Thomas Brody Sangster, David Thewlis, Mia Mitchell and Tim Minchin, to name a few. If you like the video, then give me a thumbs up. If you want to drop a comment in the comment box below, then feel free because I will respond. And finally, you can always subscribe so that every Tuesday and every Saturday, when I drop another one of these videos, you can just get a little notification and drop in and listen to or watch as much or as little as you would like and go about your day. In the meantime, check out my Patreon page and the rest of the channel. Cheers now. Bye.